Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Dazzling Sense with Chris, and I'm Chris, your independent Sensi consultant. So I wanted to get on here and go over um, what I've been warming over the past week or so. Um, I think I tried some different things this time. So let's take a look and see what we got going on here. All right. The Brick, Jamie Time. This is really super nice. Let's see, it's a big one. So pretty, I got this going in my bathroom. It's a nice bathroom scent, great for the bedroom. Um, Cause it has that soft and it's kind of like a little bit of laundry too. I could, I sense a little bit of laundry in it, but nothing crazy or over the top. Um, it is, I got some notes here this time. It's Baby Freesia, Lavender, and Sweet Pea. Definitely, if you have a Scentsy Club, I would suggest picking up the Jamie Time Brick. All right. Now we have Cinnamon Buttercream. Okay, so Cinnamon Buttercream. I got this in my kitchen right now. Now, for me... I love and appreciate a good, scented, smelling, yummy bakery. But for whatever reason, <laughs> I'm just not real big on it in the house, like to warm it. Um, I've been doing it in my kitchen only because I definitely don't want it anywhere else other than the kitchen. Um, and it's nice. Sometimes I find it interferes a little bit with other scents. That I've got going on um, but yeah this is really really yummy it's got some great notes in it it's got um, Italian buttercream creamy mascarpone and cinnamon it smells wonderful I will probably put it in my club because I do like it um, it's not a very strong powerhouse of a scent. Maybe that's why I like it. It's subtle. It's not crazy. It's not interfering with what else I've got warming in, you know, in the rest of the house. Okay. Melon, apple, granita. This is melon and apple granita. This is the um, Bring Back My Bar. And it's definitely going to my club really really like this one mm. this is so refreshing um this now even though it's kind of a food scent not really food food but i would warm this throughout the house it's just light it's fresh i think it's gonna be great in the summertime um let's see it is crisp apple melon and sparkling citrus I really pick up in here the melon. The melon is the standout note in here for me. That's what I am really pulling the most. Um, I think the other ones, the apple and the citrus, are just complementing it nicely. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about this one. Clothesline. Okay. Um, I put this in my bathroom. I had to take it out. It was so strong. I, wow. I'm not saying it's a bad smell. It smells wonderful. It smells like fresh, clean, crisp sheets that were just washed and hung outside to dry. I don't have the scent notes for this one, but it's, yeah, it's a nice scent. Um, I'm thinking I may pick up some, um, of the pots and use this in my basement. Um, I feel like I might even put a warmer in my basement. I don't know. Maybe it's strong. If you love laundry, 
and that's this you know something that you're fond of this will knock your socks off I mean it is strong I had it in my bathroom two cubes and it's all I could smell in the house I says that this has to come out definitely alrighty so here's another bring back my bar this one is autumn stroll um love this one. Oh, jeez this is the one to me smells like old spice cologne it is just so so good wow this is a bring back my bar i'm going to club this i don't want to be without it and this has peppery cinnamon dusky plum and warm incense i'm wondering if it's the incense that makes this so intense it's just oh uh. and when i say intense i don't mean like clothesline intense it's just the fragrance is permeates the air well but not where it's gonna you know knock you over it's just perfect it just blends through really nicely that that's a beautiful smell. I will warm this. Definitely, I'm warming it in the fall, and I'm warming it now in the winter. It's a, it's a warm, warm, warm scent. Okay, this was a uh, surprise for me. This one is um, Starburst Sky, and um, every time I do that, I go out of focus. Um, this is in our Valentine's collection. Now, when you open it up, and I smelled it. I wasn't impressed. I was like, yeah, okay, it's all right. It smelled very light. It smelled weak. I was wrong. This one, when I warmed it, I put it in this room here. It is such a nice fragrance. It's a, um, it turns into like a perfumey smell. Um, I can't remember, but I think other consultants were saying some of the other videos I watched said it was um an exact duplicate of a very expensive perfume I don't even never heard of this perfume I think it's called Baccarat 540 I think was the number yeah but it's like $700 a bottle or 500 it's a perfume I will never be trying but that's supposedly what it smells like so if anybody out there has ever had the opportunity to smell that one let me know um, this one, Starboard Sky, is sweet apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, oh, creamy coconut clouds against an amber blossom sunset. I don't smell any coconut in here. Um, I think what I'm really pulling from this bar is the amber. It's just... Like I said, this one took me by surprise. Um, I will put this in my club. I like it. It's different. It's unique. It's something that I'm not going to, I haven't found another scent like it. So that's what I mean when I say it's unique. Because sometimes scents are like, oh, that's very similar to, you know, this or that. I like things that are different and unique. All right. This one here, Graham Cracker Crunch. Um, this was nice. Again, it's another food scent. I smell it in here. I love it. It smells yummy and delicious. And, um, put it in my kitchen. It didn't overpower the house. That was nice. Um, I liked it well enough. Am I going to club it? I'm not sure yet. I have to make a decision on my club pretty soon, though, of what I'm going to put in there <clears throat> for um, safekeeping. So I have to go back and reassess and decide. This is a great scent. I hear it's a great mixer for other foodie-type scents. And let's see, what is in Graham Cracker Crunch? Oh, Graham Cracker Crunch is caramelized Graham Cracker, crunchy peanut butter, and creamy vanilla bean. 
definitely smell the peanut butter, but not overpowering. It's just a hint of peanut butter and the caramel and vanilla. It's, yeah, it's, it's a great scent. If you like bakery, you would like that. All right. Another bakery scent. I wanted to try this one out because I hadn't tried it yet. This is from our um, <clears throat> Sensepiration collection that we had in the wintertime or in the holiday season. And this is Caramel Buttercream. <coughs> okay. Caramel Buttercream. <sighs> yeah. I put this in my kitchen. It was so... To me, sick, sickly sweet. I mean, it was, yeah, it was sweet. Cloying. I'm going to stick with my caramel chestnut. Um, this will definitely not be in a, a club for me. In fact, I don't even, I don't know what I'll do with the other bars. This is so, so sweet. I mean, all you can smell is like thick, gooey caramel. Um, yeah, this one isn't for me. I ended up removing it from my warmer early because I just, I couldn't, the, the smell, it was just, it was too much. You know, it's just like, you know, like chocolate cake. Well, I'm sure a lot of people love that they, you know, like things are super, super sweet to eat. And it's like, it's just like too much. That's how I felt about this in my nose. It was just too much. Um... So, oh, I already gave you the scent notes, right? Or did I? It's buttercream, vanilla cream wrapped in caramelized sugar. It's just caramel. It's straight up caramel. Very, very sweet. If you like a sweet bakery scent, you would like that one. All right. Arctic Kiss was the next one. I really like Arctic Kiss for, um, this time of year for the winter, the cold months. <clears throat> Let's see. It's such a pleasant smell. That's how I would, it's pleasant. It's not over the top. It's just, it just adds just a nice fragrance in the air. Um, Arctic Kiss is Arctic Mint, Fresh Air, and Fluffy Vanilla Clouds. Now, generally I don't really like mint too much um like there's the swirling snowflakes and um i'm not crazy about mint but this the mint is not it's there and you could smell it but it's really it's softened it's very it's softened by that um by the vanilla in it and the fresh air so think Oh, fresh air. I'm trying to think of another scent that may be like mixed. If you mixed it in with vanilla and mint, that's what you would get. It's just a beautiful, clean, fresh, nice scent for the winter. Perfect for these cold winter days. Really, it is. Okay. Now this one here is cherry apple strudel. Or airy apple cherry strudel. I'm reading backwards. Okay. Um, I really like this one. I like this one because even though it's a bakery scent, it was you really pick up on that cherry and that apple. It's really like it bites. And I like that's I like that it, it has that biting scent to it. It like grabs you. I like this one a lot. Um, but I tend to like cherry. So, like, I say I don't like bakery scents, but maraschino sugar cookie, I love it. But I think it's because of the cherry. I love the smell of cherry. Okay, so what else have I been warming? Oh, Mediterranean Spa. From our Bring Back My Bar. This is so nice. I love this in my bathroom. And in fact, I think even in the summertime, I may put this in the house. Well, I may not because I didn't plan on clubbing this one. Hmm. Maybe I should. 
I just bought myself extra bars. This is really pretty. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think there were any set notes for this one. No, they didn't. They just said it was like clean, fresh, and breezy or something. But if I were to smell this, okay, let's see. I smell lemon in here. Lemon. There's fresh scent in here. It's, there's no... The citrus in here is definitely lemon. Maybe just a mix of citrus, lemon and lime and a little orange. A little orange. Maybe a soft bergamot. I'm not sure. Yeah, I really wish Sensi would have given us some notes on it. It's just a really, it's a spa scent. It smells clean. Like, um, like a spa clean when you go in and you could smell those watery notes and, um, that fresh smell it's really nice and I did this in my bathroom okay there's another one from the Valentine collection yeah. this is Clementine Blossom okay so on cold it smells like orange to me and it smells like a um, orange creamsicle I thought I would like it and I'm not saying I don't like it what I don't like is it's not a real powerhouse it doesn't um, the scent didn't last as long as I would like like it to have lasted and um, what was really weird was I put it in my in my warmer and I put it in here so and I did on a day I was working from home and and it was in the morning I put it in and I sat here working working an hour goes by and it's melted and I can't smell it and I thought gee there's really no scent you know after about two hours three hours all of a sudden it like popped like I could smell it it exploded and I could it was strong it was nice it was real orangey and it lasted like maybe like three hours after that and it just it went right back down so it was like this no scent then it came up very fast sharp all of a sudden it was there I was like oh there it is and then it just faded right out so yeah I was a little disappointed with this one because I had high hopes for it because it did it smelled like an orange creamsicle and I, lo I love orange scents but yeah that one yeah, that one didn't uh, didn't work for me. And the scent notes in there is golden citrus, pink nectar, and sugar blossom. So, yeah, that was a little sad. All right, what else do we got? We have, oh, another bring back my bar. I was trying to sample as many as I could. This one's vanilla cream. I mean, I did sample them, all of them when I first got them. I just did them really quickly, like every day I was changing it. Um, in this room one cube at a time just to get an initial feel on the scent <clears throat> but I wanted to go back and you really use it like see if it was gonna last if it got any stronger and um, this one was nice I do like vanilla cream um, I'm going to put this in my club I think because it's just a basic vanilla um, I was kind of hoping it would be more of um, a vanilla that you get like in perfume, that type of, of, of vanilla, like a perfume, a body care vanilla. This one has just a little bit more on the um, food side of vanilla. You know, if you were to open up a bottle of vanilla extract, except a little lighter because they put a little bit of cream in it. But it is. It's nice scent. I think I'm going to club this one. Again, I got a lot of decisions to make before the end of this month. Um, what do they say about vanilla cream? Oh, and I hear it mixes really well with uh, Perk Me Up, the, the new coffee scent that's in Bring Back My Bar, which I absolutely love. Now that, I don't mind my kitchen smelling like coffee. That smells good. But I heard 
to mix a cube of this in it is supposed to be really, really good. Uh, vanilla cream is French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. I'd say milk. It's I don't smell coconut in here, but yeah, this one's nice. Very nice. What else? Oh, I like this one. This one is Mystery Man. Oh. Smells like men's cologne. I love the smell of men's cologne. Would it be weird if I wore men's? I do. I love the smell of it. Mmm, that is so good. So, so good. Let me see what they had. And it, and it lasted. It didn't die out fast at, at all. You know what? I thought, oh yeah, I do. Okay. Um, this is white, white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot. So yeah, like I would picture this, I'm trying to think as far, if we're going to go with men's cologne. I don't know the names of men's colognes, but I mean, I know the names, but I wouldn't know the scent if I... This, I would say, is more of a summery men's cologne. Like, to me, men's cologne for, like, the winter is more on the spicy side. Um, this seems a little bit lighter, uh, more fresh. I use that word a lot, don't I? Sorry. It's like I said. I want to be a sommelier for scents. But I don't think they have a school for that. But anyway, that's Mystery Man and... Love it. Going to club it. Okay. Another bring back my bar. I wanted to give this another try. This one is Pima Cotton. Let's see. No. This is like clothesline. This is like clothesline and clean breeze mixed together. Um, does it smell awful? Absolutely not. It's strong. I did one cube in my bathroom. I left it. I did not. I didn't remove it, but it was very, very strong. This one is a scent that you're going to smell instantly when you walk in the room, um, which for me, I like that. And but not in the scent. That was just it was too it was too much for me. This is Lily's Freesia and Jasmine. I think I smell Freesia most. Yeah, I smell that Freesia. It's yeah, you I'm done with this one. Um so what do I got? I got six cubes left. I'll mix them in throughout the year in the bathroom um to use it, but it's way too heavy for me. Okay, almost done here. This is probably my most favorite bar out of the Bring Back My Bar Select. Well, no, I'm not going to say that because I do like Autumn Stroll. Okay, this one is Woodland Suede. First of all, this lasted a long time. Oh, God. I had this melting for like four days. It was longer than I would normally melt. Maybe five, five days. I think it was five days. And I was like, okay, I got to change my wax. But this is the one I had in there and I could still smell it in the room. I have this in my living room. Ugh. This is so good. I'm going to give you the scent notes. Again, this is another one that smells like a man. A sexy man. Yeah, this is nice. Sexy man smell. We're going to go with that. It is just beautiful. It is red, red oak, smoky, so, sorry, smoky cedar, suede musk, and bright winter lemon. It is just, oh my God. The lemon isn't overpowering. I think what the lemon is doing in here is toning down those heavy scents. Because smoky cedar, suede musk, and red oak, 
those are heavy scents, right? And I think the bright winter lemon just, it brings, it tones it out a little bit. It is beautiful. Woodland suede is just, yeah, maybe I do. Maybe this is my favorite out of the Bring Back My Bar. It smells amazing. If you like masculine um, cologne scents, Woodland Suede is just, it's, it's great. It's going to be my club. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. So, I, we had the sample in our whiff box. Uh, when was this? I want to say it was the December with, with box. Mango Margarita. This is out of the Sensepiration. Here we go again. The Sensepiration Collection. That is going to be released on February 13th. This smells so good. This is the one that smells like a lemon drop. A lemon drop candy. Love this one. I love, 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 love it. Um... I'm going to get myself a few more collections of the uh, Sunspiration collection when it comes out on the 13th. It is just so, so, so good. Uh, okay. I don't have the... Oh, you know what? I do have it. Mango Margarita. There goes my containers. Mango Margarita is a burst of tropical fruits blended with juicy mango and a dash of sparkling citrus. So good. It's like lemon drop candy. I think I must get the sweetness from the um, from the mango. Because it's just, oh, to die for. Okay, guys. My basket's empty. Um, I will have, what do I have got coming? I have the 10 new bars that are going to be in the summer catalog coming. I don't think they've shipped yet. I'm still waiting. Uh, the new laundry in Fiji flower. I've got that coming. And uh, when I get those, I will come on and, send, and uh, go over those. Oh, I also have the complete tester kit for all the scents in the catalog. So at some point... I'll probably maybe break them down into fragrance categories and we'll go over them. That'll be fun. Those are smells that I've never smelled before because I was I came in at the end of summer last year. So the only summer scents or springy type scents back here are um, ones that I've purchased along the way in those collections that were offered from time to time or bundles that they threw in with warmers. Um, that's about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate the time you take. Um, follow me on my Facebook group. I put that in the link in, in the links below. Um, my shopping link is there. And um, again, thank you so much for watching. And I will be back soon. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below, and I'll make sure I answer them. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye bye.